Welcome to the Learn to Make Pixel Art with HBrite course. In this first video we are going to take our first look at HBrite. So when you first open HBrite you will get this home tab. Here you can see your recent files, your recent folders of those files, the news, here you can see the new releases of HBrite and updates. Here you have the button to make a new file or to open a file. Also, if you hovered your mouse over this icon, the logo of HBrite, you can blush it. And if you click, you will get something like this. We are going to make a new file, so we are going to click new file. And here you have the settings of your new sprite. Here you have the width, the height, my case, I'm going to make 128 by 128 and here you have the color mode. So with RGBA you have 4 channels per pixel so you have red, green, blue and alpha. The alpha is the transparency of the pixel. You have grayscale with gray channel and alpha so of course in grayscale you will only be able to have a grayscale image and you have indexed. In, in, in the indexed mode your image is linked to a palette so if you modify the colors in that palette the colors of your image are also going to be modified. I'm going to set it right now at RGBA and the background this is the background you want to have when you create a file you can have a transparent background, a white or a black. Here on advanced options, if you don't want to have square pixels, you can choose to have rectangle pixels, but that's something really specific if you want certain style of art. So I'm going to press OK, and here I have my document. So we are going to take a look at the interface. So in this window, you have the workspace where you paint and you can move, you can zoom in with the mouse wheel, moving up and zoom out with the mouse wheel or with control plus or control minus. If you press the middle mouse button and you drag, so you move, you will be able to pan. Also, if you maintain the spacebar press you click and you drag, you can also pan. In the right, you have access to all your tools that you can use. So for example, the pencil tool, the selections tool, the bucket tool, and so on. And here you have the context part. So those are the options of the tool. So if I change the tool, the options here are also going to change. Here you have a preview. This is, for example, if you want to take a look at your image at 100% of zoom. So, for example, here I can work at detail and here I can see my image at 100%. I can also center this with this button. I can play the animation if I have one or I can close it and I can open it again in this button. Here we have the zoom level, so this is, of course, the level of zoom. Right now, I am at 100% of zoom, 800, 400, and so on. I also have the possibility to add a new frame, and the current frame I'm in. This is something for animation that we are going to look in two sections. Here we have the palette, so this is the colors that we can choose to paint and here we have the color picker so you have a foreground color that you paint with the left click and a background color that you paint with the right click so you can change it here for example here on the color picker if I left click I'm going to modify my foreground color and if I right click I'm going to modify my background color. 
If I want to modify this color picker, I can come here, add options, and here you have different options. For example, color spectrum, RGB color wheel, and so on. In my case, I prefer this one. And here we have some other options that we are going to take a look in the next section. So you have, for example, the file to save your file, export it, edit to transform your canvas or make a new brush and things like that. Select to have some options with the selection tools and so on. So this in general is the interface of HBrite and in the next video we are going to take a look at the tools in HBrite.